Hi everybody, thanks for watching, thanks for subscribing and thanks for following us on Facebook. Today we're going to be talking about fertility treatments and we've done a couple of them but today we're going really deep into fertility surgery. So today's video is about laparoscopy and how it enhances our fertility. My name is Dr. Wanjiro Ndegwa and you're watching Footsteps to Fertility. So what is laparoscopy? Laparoscopy, I'll kind of define it in terms of what the word means. It means lap, which means the abdomen, and scopy, which means that we're looking into the abdomen. So what we do is we use instruments that are able to visualize inside the abdomen by using a camera, which we put usually into the umbilicus, which is the belly button. So we put a little incision of about one centimeter, and we're able then to get a microscopic camera that fits right inside, goes into the abdomen, and we're able to visualize. In addition, we can put two or three other sites, usually half a centimeter, where we are actually able to put in our instruments, which actually do the surgery. So I have some instruments here that, this is what we use. We use little instruments like this, and as you can see, they're really, really thin. So the incisions are really small, and all we do, this is what helps us to actually do the surgery. So these are some of the things that we use. So it's minimal access, meaning we're not giving you that really ugly cut. We're not giving you 10 centimeter cuts, no. That's, that's done. Not all surgery can be done in this way, but a lot of surgery right now can. Um, so why would we want you to have a laparoscopy? What, what indications, what, what would we um, be looking for when we're doing a laparoscopy? Um, if you watch the earlier videos, we've talked a lot about endometriosis. Endometriosis is one of the most common reasons we go in to do laparoscopy. Unfortunately, we can't see this kind of disease with anything else. We can guess it's there, but the definitive diagnosis, meaning the only way that we're sure that it's there, is by going in with a camera that magnifies all the organs, and you can see the little implants. So getting a definitive diagnosis of endometriosis and therefore trying to assist you, especially the patients who are struggling to conceive, is, is one of the reasons we do a laparoscopy. So the second reason that we may want to go in and, and have um, a laparoscopy is because we have polycystic ovarian disease that is resistant to any type of treatment. So there's some women who have irregular menses, we can't get you to ovulate, and sometimes all we need to do is drill the ovaries, which is to puncture them at a few sites, and that tends to help ovulation. The only problem is that it is the effect is only for six months. So if you ever go for ovarian drilling, which is what the surgery is, call, is, is called, please ensure that you maximize conception in the first six months after the surgery. The third reason we may want to have a laparoscopic surgery is to open the tubes. I don't promise that every tube uh, tuboplasty, which is a surgery that we do to open the tubes, will be successful. Unfortunately, only about 15% are actually successful, but we do attempt, depending on where the blockage is, to open tubes by undergoing a laparoscopy. So the fourth reason we, we may want to take you in for a laparoscopy is um, if we see any cysts, that are on the ovaries, and usually they're really huge cysts, not these small cysts, really huge cysts that may be interfering with our ovulation process, then we'd want to go in, remove just the cyst, try and leave as much ovary as possible, just remove the cyst so that you still function properly and get it out there. Um, the fifth reason we may want to go and do a laparoscopy is to remove fibroids. Some fibroids are too big and we don't touch them with laparoscopic, but if you do have small fibroids and depending on where their position is, they can be removed um, laparoscopically, small and few. Now, um, the sixth reason we may want to take you in for laparoscopy is to clip the tubes. And I know now you're wondering, okay, why are we clipping the tubes and we want to get pregnant? Well, one of the reasons we clip the tubes is that we have a hydrosalpinx. So what a hydrosalpinx is, is fluid inside the tubes. And if there's fluid in the tubes, to be honest, there's really um, not a lot of hope for the tube because a sperm will come in probably and the egg will be there, but they'll be swimming around. So fertilization won't occur. Um, also, the fluid after an IVF cycle tends to be toxic to the embryo and can actually wash away the embryo that we, we, we replace in the uterine cavity. So we really do not want the fluid. So what we do is we clip the tubes if we have 
a hydrosalpinx, which is water in both the tubes, then we tend to clip them so that it does not flow in to the um, uterine cavity after an IVF cycle. So that's important to note. Um, what are the benefits or why should I have laparoscopy as opposed to, you know, normal open surgery? I think laparoscopy is, is the way to go with most cases because it's minimal access, meaning we are not cutting you for the 10 centimeters that we used to. Um, secondly, it's mostly daycare. For, especially for fertility surgery, we're doing them as a day, case, a day case, which means you come in the morning and by four o'clock you're at home. The scarring is so much better. Obviously, it's cosmetically much better than the scars. And another reason is that it's much less pain. We're not giving you that scar that we go through layers of skin and fat and muscle. We're just giving you very small five millimeter or 10 millimeter scars. So there's much, much less pain after a laparoscopy. So if you've benefited from this video, if you think that somebody else will benefit from, the, from what I've been saying about fertility surgery, please share the video, like, follow us. Remember to subscribe um, to us on YouTube as well. And um, thanks for watching. You're watching um, Dr. Wanjiro Ndekwa. This is Footsteps to Fertility, where we walk with you.